Uh, I want to remind everybody to click that subscribe down there if you haven't subscribed. And hit that little bell for any future notifications. You don't want to miss out on anything. Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about spiders. No, not the orb weavers. We are actually going to talk about the um, wolf spiders. Because we want to try to get that mythodasm mutation. So that we don't have to worry about the venom when we fight the brood mother or any other wolf spiders. If you happen to be out in the yard and come across one. But um, so I'm here today. We're going to talk about the different locations where we can find these spiders. The first location is going to be the middle of the oak tree. Believe it or not, this is a very popular spot. Usually there's one spider here. But every once in a while, there's another spider that lives outside of a broken leaf. Where is that broken leaf? We're looking at... It's a leaf that's pretty tore up. It's right past the burgle thing here. So here's our broken up leaf. You'll find a wolf spider sleeping here. And you'll find a wolf spider sleeping inside. But every once in a while, you'll find both these spiders sleeping inside. So be mind of that. You don't want to take on more than you can handle, really. Because these wolf spiders, even if you manage to cure the... Get the methodastrum uh, mutation, you're still going to have issues. They are a warrior to fight. But anyhow, we're going to travel to each location. I'm going to show you the wolf spiders at each location. And hopefully this helps you guys find these spiders and take them on. And I'll give you a couple ideas on how to take them out. Um, I guess it depends on the terrain around you. So let's jump down there and check out the inside of that tree and see if we can find him come home. But before I do, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button down there. And uh, hit that little bell for notifications. Because next time I put out one of these vid videos, you'll get notified and you really don't want to miss out. Because um, we have a lot of fun. It's just fun. Yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. I'm sure you'll find it helpful. If you don't know where spiders are, this will be helpful for you. This will show you where they're all at. So um, let's jump down there and see if we can't find the oak tree spider. Alright, it's morning time. I wanted to start over. But I want to show you. See, here's spider number one. You'll find him a lot of times sleeping underneath this really tore up leaf. It's the only leaf that's got that many holes in it. So however you want to take him on with bows or crossbows. But there's your first spider. And then down here inside. Is where you'll find your second wolf spider. I just wanted to show that before I kicked over to the log real quick. So I'm going to head over to the log now. Alright we are almost over here at the log. But for people that know where this board is. There is a spider underneath this board. We are going to zoom down here and check him out. And if I'm right, there should be a spider down here inside this hole. A wolf spider. Real spooky hole in the ground. Faint chittering noises. Smell of decaying flesh. Nothing to worry about. This is not an easy fight in here. But there is a wolf spider right over there. Let me see if we can get over there so you can see him without me waking him up. If I can get off this web. Come on. There we go. And there he is. So you can see there is a wolf spider underneath that board. But like I said, that is not going to be an easy fight. I don't know how you take him out pretty quick, but um, yeah, you got to deal with the webbing. 
So that's three wolf spiders. You'll find one underneath the board, almost always. And then from the board, you can see our log tree here. We're going to run over there and see if I can't lose these spiderlings behind me. If not, I'll have to punch them. Alright, so from the tip of our tree, you can see the head over here. And then over here, there is like a little hut they made out of leaves. Alright, so from the tree branch... You're going to look at the head and you're going to go underneath and you'll see a little cave down there. Down inside this cave, we're going to find ourselves a wolf spider. And there's a treat at the end if you kill this wolf spider. There is raw science back there. I don't know if you can see it. And a scaby. Yeah, raw science and a scaby back there. That's three wolf spiders. So to go back over here to our log, this time we're going to look over here towards the corner of the porch. And here's our little tree hut. The opening is in the front here. That's where we're going to find a fourth wolf spider. He's an easy kill, believe it or not. You want to fight him from this side. As long as you're shooting arrows at him, he won't come out the other end because he's so focused on you from this direction. But if he loses eye contact with you, he will walk right out that front and then re-aggro on you and then you're in some deep trouble. But for now, you're okay. We'll let him go back to sleep. And now from here, a little bonus, bonus, if you look over by the hot dog wrapper, there's a leaf right there. Let's go check that out. See this leaf right here? Look at there. You will find a rotten larva blade. Believe it or not, it is a really good knife. Does that make me King Arthur? <laughs> but if we look, we found it stuck in a pebble. But um, the damage is slow, but the speed is quick. It's great for like uh, worker ants and um, gnats and... But what you really want to get is the, um, the fang blade. After you kill your wolf spider, you'll um, unlock it. It'll look like this, but it'll be um, from a wolf spider. So our next, let me show you where this is on the map. Easy enough. So now we got four spiders, right? No, five. No, wait a minute, four. No, five. That's five spiders. We got two in the oak tree. Oh, I'm here. Alright, so we got two wolf spiders in the oak tree. One wolf spider underneath the board. One wolf spider underneath the head. And one wolf spider underneath the little hut house there. And then over here, you got your larva blade. Our next stop. That's what? Um, one, two, three, four, five. That's your five spiders. But we have a bonus. I know where two more wolf spiders are easily found. And the first location we are going to head to is over here. This is a, somewhat of a spider gauntlet you're going to have to run. It's not an easy one. Well, I guess it could be if you go from one side and work your way backwards. Okay, here we are. If you use the jump down there and grab that raw science... You're not coming back out. You're going to have to run a gauntlet. Which will bring you out here. And look what we have here. We have another wolf spider. Alright, so let me show you on the map where he's at. Right underneath the big rake. 
And like I said, you don't have to go in the top part and run that whole gauntlet. You can catch him at the end here. Alright, so I'm going to show you where to find our last and seventh spider. Remember, you only need five. So what you want to do is make your way over to the tape deck here. Let me show you on the map. So we went from over here to over here. And once you're over here, there's a scabby underneath there. Don't miss that. Close to the beehive, within these rocks, we have our seventh wolf spider. So, if there is one or two of them that you find it's just too hard to get to, there are options. There are options. And there could be more of them out there. Maybe even you find one that I didn't know about. But these seven... Let me bring up our map here. Two inside the oak tree. One underneath the board. One underneath the uh, toy head. And one over here underneath the um, leaf um, little hut thing made out of leaves. And then we have one over here on in that little cave there with that little gauntlet thing. And then we have our seventh one over here. I hope this video has been very, very helpful to everybody. And um, if there's anything that you would like to see me make a video on that nobody else has covered or you think maybe I can do it in a different way that you can understand it. Let me know. Leave a comment and I would love to make a video. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Give it a thumbs up. One, two, three.